One theme that has come up over and over throughout Candyman's sordid history is the comparison of how people see him as an urban legend and how devotees interact with religion. From his clothing, to his sermon-like monologues, to the many other references and religious subtext that I've pointed out in this video, I think the lack of definitive evidence provided to make people believe in him operates the same way as religion. Religion is all about faith. Followers of a religion may have a relationship with God, but it's never in the form of irrefutable proof that God exists. Because that wouldn't be faith, that would just be like, proved. But the main point that I'm getting at here is that those who believe do so even without proof. And the point behind Candyman is that urban legends and supernatural hook-handed killers operate very much the same way. The mystery around the whole thing creates believers, whether it be Candyman, Bloody Mary, the Hookman, or any other urban legend, and this is what gives power to those legends.